hello everyone in the previous video we learned that how we can uh, implement show and edit method using this repository pattern right so now let's uh, come here and implement this so update and delete with this one right so here in the interface i'm going to uh, call an update method so let's uh, copy this here so you can also view it uh, from this uh, completely brief description right so it's telling everything that how you need to call the method how you need to call it into the interface and then how you need to pause this so like uh, let me go to the interface this one is interface it's accepting id and data so you can also pause this data here and id like this in the laravel which way right and then you need to similar accept it here so we are doing this in our in our way right so we are going to make this uh, let me change the method name this would be an update and here i'm going to call this array for data okay and then second parameter would be the id right so i'm let me type hint this int and this would be an id right so now uh, let's uh, go to our user repository and here let me uh, this one is our user repository so let me add this public uh, function and this would be an update and update is accepting the array of data and then an int id right and here i need to update this stuff so which thing i need to update so let's go to the controller and get this thing here right save this one and go back right so in the update we are going to first find the user and then we are going to update so here we are finding and if it's not found we are going to throw this about 404 and then after this we are going to update this right so i need to call this data here we are because we are accepting this data here right so now data and this data all okay we need to add this like in the custom way okay update and here i need to add this name oops and data and from this data key i need to get this name okay second would be the email and the third would be the password but we are not updating the password so let's uh, remove this okay so after this i'm going to return this user so it's not uh, mandatory to return this user but i'm returning this here we are returning this user here right and now let's come to our controller and here we need to implement this uh, and then i need to call this uh, oops i need to call the user and then this user should call this update method which accept the request all first parameter which contain the name and email and second would be the id right save this one and then this will update this user right so i'm going to go to this one and here i'm going to add this update full update kelly with this kelly user uh, let's submit this and yes it's updated and yes update is added so it means that our update functionality is working so now our last one remaining is delete so in the user interface i came here and here i'm going to implement this uh, public uh, function delete it's pretty same right i need to accept only id right save this one and in the user repository so here i'm going to public oops function not add it's uh, delete or you can also call the dest try so it's totally your personal preference so let me copy this logic from this so destroy method right you can also name this destroy right so let me add this here we are accepting an id and we are finding this id finding this user and then we are if not found about it and if found we are going to delete this one and here i'm going to call this uh, 
user and then this user contain the delete and then this delete would contain the id right we are passing this id to this delete method so let's go here let's click on this delete and it's going to delete the query kumbi berry okay wait for a moment and yes our record is successfully deleted so we successfully covered our laravel repository pattern so we implemented the all uh, we implemented get or you can say whatever show store update delete and stuff like that right so we also binded this and we also call this in the edit and stuff like that right and uh, our this uh, uh, repository pattern is now covered and hope you learn uh, a lot from this series that how to structure your code it's very strict uh, it's a very structured format because we are not doing any of the logical operations here we are our controller is responsible for only handing our view files right and passing our data to this view it's not responsible for the logical layer so we uh, we are meeting our logic separate so it's uh, when your application is going bigger so you need to uh, create uh, your everything in the separate directories so it will be uh, easy for the maintainable and it's also readable for new developers to understand it from the standards and uh, structures right so it's very hard to understand that if uh, project structure is not good so always follow the best practices and uh, structures to organize your project and if you like this video please share your feedback and also you can support me uh, uh, on this channel because uh, I, my channel is not monetized right now and you can support me on this channel then I will shoot to uh, different playlist on the laravel like this uh, like this amazing playlist and then you can get the benefit from these uh, uh, from these playlist to uh, laravel tips and tricks so by the way if you are not familiar with my youtube channel so i'm shooting different playlist on the laravel and also uploading different community uh, different laravel tips and tricks in the community tab where you can get the regular updates from this youtube channel right so subscribe the youtube channel and stay connected for more upcoming series so i will meet you in the next series bye bye